Hi, thank you for joining me again. Uh, today I'm going to do the booktube about me tag. Um, this was originally made by Harriet Rosie. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. I saw it um, first on Peter Likes Books uh, um, on his channel because I follow his channel a lot. Uh, and then I looked at the original um, video, tag video, so I decided to do it because I think it's a pretty cool tag. Um, so yeah, let's, there's like 10 questions. I'll try to keep it short, but oh, oh my videos always end up long, so apologies for, well, apologies for that, but it is what it is. Um, so the first question is, what do you study? What is your job? Um, I finished studying, like, I mean, we always study until we die, I suppose, but like academically to go into an institution. I finished studying in 2012. Um, I did film with radio and television um, and like screenwriting. Um, in high school, I did like hist social, social um, yeah, um, history and philosophy, stuff like that. Um, specialized in that um, so yeah as I was saying I finished in 2012 uh, my university my job currently I have a day job and like my dream job which <laughs> I'm currently working on uh, so my day job night job because I do both <laughs> my road is changing all the time I'm a waitress in a cafe in a cafe in a restaurant in Canterbury and but I'm also a writer um, and a photographer. I write both fiction and non-fiction. My, uh, my novel has, my debut novel was published in September, 7th of, 6th, 7th of September. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, please check it out. <laughs> uh, I hope you'll like it, some of you at least. Um, so yeah, I, I'm a writer and, I'm, and photographer as I said, but lately I've been focused more on writing. Um, Second, second question. What is your favorite social media channel? Um, right. So I, I love because I love images like looking at photographs and stuff like that. I love Instagram. Um, it's just I scroll, I look at people's profiles. It's so inspiring. You can find as an author, you find I find so much inspiration looking at other people's uh, channels. Um, it's amazing how many jobs are there. Like so many things people are doing uh, I would have never found out about those sorts of things unless I looked on Instagram at various pictures um, so yeah Instagram is a big one Pinterest as well but I, I was using Pinterest a lot when I was writing my novel but uh, with Pinterest is like <laughs> I collect so I do so many boards and I it's uh, so much of my time goes into it, so I haven't used it recently, but when I do, um, it's lovely. <laughs> it's just a lot of a lot of time goes by uh, when I use it. And then I use Twitter as well and Facebook. Um, I like Twitter a lot. I can, I've, I've connected with so many people using it. Um, so yeah, and Facebook to keep in touch with other people. But mainly Instagram, that's my, I think my favorite, because I can speak with people on, on there and I can look at their images and stuff like that. Uh, I love photography, as I said. Uh, third question. If you had another channel, what would it be about? Um, so as I mentioned, this is channel, my channel is not just booktube, like, it's not just like about book, uh, some book reviews. I also do like um, videos about writing, like my writing life. Um, so it's kind of like author tube a channel. Um, it's mixed. Um, but I, if I were to do another channel, that would either be, or both, be about gardening and uh, one about photography. I love uh, like gardening. Unfortunately, the well, place I live at the moment, I live with other people, and um, the house I live in has a small garden, but because of previous experiences with rentals, like house rentals, um, uh, I can't really have a garden there because I used to have one um, on the roof um, of the well, on the roof of the building. I used to have rent a flat, and I had some complaints about it. Apparently, some people got bothered, so I kind of felt a bit disheartened. So I stopped doing a garden. Um, 
a greenhouse there. But if I were to do another channel, that would be, it would be about uh, gardening, because I love flowers, plants, vegetables, everything like that. So yeah, and then photography, I love like portrait photography, nature photography, like landscape. So yeah, that, that would be about. Uh, and I'll probably do in the future once I'll move in my own house and have a big garden and a tiny house. Um, for question four, do you play any instrument? Unfortunately, no, I do not play any instrument. Let me tell you, I love piano and guitar. I'm, I'm always mesmerized when I see someone playing those instruments. Um, I'm a bit fascinated with musicians, but no, I don't play. I played in high school a little bit at the music class, play the piano, <laughs> but no, I wouldn't say no, no, no. I would love to learn maybe, but at the moment I'm focused on my writing. Um, so, and I say like, I'll leave other people do the music job <laughs> because they do not job like music part. It's, they're more uh, apt to do it. Um, maybe if I put, would put more effort into it, I would be able to play it, but at the moment I'm not focused on um, enriching those skills um yeah as i said i'm focused on writing uh five what hobbies do you have other than reading well i mentioned already i love gardening although i haven't done much lately uh, and i love hiking um photography as well but i love hiking like uh, a few weeks ago i was back home and i was on holiday and I managed to do a lot of hiking it was so nice and i don't know if that's like a hobby i suppose it is it's a hobby it's uh, i love taking long walks in nature and i think it's sort of a way of clearing your mind if you're stressed or even if you're not stressed it's just it's just nice to walk in nature breathe fresh air enjoy the leaves the trees look at that oh i love trees i love trees really really love trees um so yeah uh, that's one of my hobbies, I suppose. <laughs> and, like other than reading, you said, yeah. So, yeah, writing. But you already do that. Um, six favorite TV shows. Uh, right. Uh, I've got a list here because I've I, I love so many. Um, it's probably gonna be quite dark. Um, so, have you seen Stranger Things? Oh my God, season two was amazing. Season one was fantastic but season two was even better i loved it so much it was oh it was great uh so i love house that's uh, older older tv tv show uh, i'm recently watching no tomorrow which is this um, if you haven't heard of it is this tv series about um, basically this guy thinks the world of the end is going to happen like an asteroid is going to hit the earth and kill everyone obviously uh, in like eight months when the movie starts the tv series starts so it's kind of like uh, talking to this girl <laughs> and they do like apocalypse uh, apocalypse basically so they do all these crazy things before the end world uh, do before the world ends and that's kind of the premise and they fall in love it's, it's so funny it's, it's lovely um and then i love how to get away with murder uh, by peter novak it's such a good TV show, oh my god, love it. And then Outlander, very well done. I've read the third book, I've done a video on it, um, book review, discussion. Um, I love the way it's shot. Um, and that's not about movies, but it's Grand Designs, the TV show, the UK one. Uh, the Australian one as well, but the UK one with Kevin MacLeod. I love that. It's I love watching uh, this TV show because you get to see people doing houses and it, it's interesting. I just love it. Um, so seven, what got you into reading? Well, I think my parents, I suppose, because I began reading when I was little. They had lots of books in the house. I mean, not as many <laughs> as I wish, but they weren't enough to get me into reading and then when uh, I went to, I was at school very young, went to the library because I was curious, I wanted to see more books obviously because uh, we didn't have enough at home. So um, um, one of, when I went to the school library, um, the te my teacher uh, was in charge of the, the library. Um, he was a, an older man, 
Um, he's passed away since like a few years back, in 2010, fortunately. Um, but he recommended me a book to read, and I was <laughs> like, I picked it up because I was just like scrolling around in the world, or like, scrolling. I was just looking around what to read, and he recommended that one. And I fell in love after I read that book. I was like completely in love with reading um, and the feeling of like telling a story. I just, so yeah, I would say he got me into reading more <laughs> than my parents maybe, but yeah, equally. Um, getting really dark. <laughs> so, uh, eight, what are your favorite and least, uh, and least favorite genres? Um, well, I don't really read sci-fi and dystopian books, but that's not to say I don't like them. I just don't read those genres a lot. It's just, I don't know, I just don't really read a lot of those. Um, I read a lot of psychological thrillers, romance, but like, yeah, psychological stuff. I like, love literary fiction. I like fantasy as well, but I don't read as much. I would love to get into reading more. So if you have any recommendations, please, please send them my way. Um, number nine, what books define your childhood? I want to, I'm going to say to mention two. I think I've mentioned these books before in my videos, but I'll mention here as well. Um, so White Fang, but, or White Fang by Jack London. I love that book. Um, as a child, and now when I think about it, it just gives, brings back memories when I was um, younger, and yeah, I just, it was one of those classic stories for me, although I don't remember much of the plot, but I just loved it, and one of the books that probably many people have heard of and love dearly is The Little Prince by Antoine de saint exupery and that's the book I was uh, talking about that my teacher recommended to me and I'm so happy he did because it's one of my fav favorite books ever and I would recommend it to everyone, absolutely everyone to read it because you can learn so much from it and feel so much. Uh, number 10, <laughs> the last one, <laughs> sorry because my, my video is already quite long. Um, so tell us an interesting fact about you. Oh, I thought about this and yeah, um, I don't know, I would say I used to, you probably won't hear about this except in this video because it's not something I do, I haven't done this in years but I used to <laughs> love to play football not to watch it i used to watch that as well but i think when the world well a few years back when the world world cup happened and spain was terribly beaten they played so poorly um i kind of had enough of football so i didn't like watching it at all uh, but i used to love to play it as a teenager um, I was that girl who used to play <laughs> football with boys and there were a few other of my friends girls who played football but not many as you can imagine you know um, but yeah I used to love football <laughs> I used to love the exercise I was so like involved in that now I find it so silly like I don't know I still think it's nice it still brings back memories and I have that feeling when I think, think about it but at the same time I just find it so silly I just think it's like I was, I, if I were to choose uh, a sport to play I would choose tennis or something like that and instead of football but who knows you never know and yeah that's one thing I would mention and an interesting fact that I'll probably mention more you'll hear me talk about this is that I mean I don't know if that's interesting or not but I think it is something cool I would love to do is um in a few years time because I can't do it at the moment and I'm not that equipped at the moment uh, but I would love to do in the future to do like a writer's retreat not not just a writer's retreat but a, re um, a retreat for anyone who would just like to enjoy life a bit more and relax and just breathe enjoy nature I would love to set up this place for people to come um, and paint write maybe go biking um, in my home country 
we have beautiful landscapes and when I was back home in September I went to see some land and I found I fell on kind of fell in love with this remote village. They have no electricity, they have like solar panels and stuff for that. But it's a very remote city in the middle of like in the middle of the country and it's nearby a bigger city so that would be a really good place to do like a writer's retreat or a retreat um, and not just that village but that, that's just one place I'm thinking about um, but yeah that's the idea I would love to do um, a retreat for people somewhere remote where they can just enjoy life more rather than focus on like social media or I'm not gonna say that social media is bad it's not bad I quite love it but but they could just enjoy life a bit more and the little things, you know, like sunshine, you know, a ray of sunshine, or like sound of a river passing by, um, stuff like that, you know, where you can get to get some time, where time goes slower and you get to connect with yourself and other people. So thank you for listening. This video is really long. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about this. But I hope you liked it and hope other people do it. I would love to hear others what what defines them, I suppose, because this is kind of a a video that says a lot about you as a person. So thank you so much for <laughs> listening. Um, and enjoy your afternoon here in the UK where I currently live beautiful fall day as you can see oh, so beautiful i love trees um so yeah i hope you're having a lovely time whatever you are in the world um thank you so much for watching have a lovely afternoon guys bye i forgot to tag people oh my god i'm so sorry um i'll tag jennifer is she, although i think she did something similar a video similar to this um <coughs> But if she hasn't, uh, please, Jenna, thank you for doing my previous tag about my best book related memories. And I hope you did this one. I'm um, not tagging Peter because Peter already did this one. Um, I can't think about it. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Oh, yes, I am tagging Elliot Pepper. I don't know if he's gonna get to see this. I'll try to tag him. Uh, on Twitter, but I hope you'll do this. It'll be a lovely tag to do. Um, I can't think about other names at the moment. I'm really bad at names, so I'm sorry about this. But anyone who wants to do this tag, please do it. It's quite nice. Bye, guys. Take care.